All right, game changers, welcome back to another video here today. Now, honestly, even though I am hyped for Black Ops 6, maybe I am in the right for doing so, maybe I'm not. Um, I will still say I am cautiously optimistic. There's always this level of caution you got to have, especially with Call of Duty games. And a lot of times we've just been burnt before and the Call of Duty community has been guilty of this time and time again, where we just honestly go all in every single iteration of the next COD cycle whenever the new COD game comes out. They do a master class of a job, and I'm talking about Activision, in marketing the next game. And even though Treyarch more than anyone does a better job in Call of Duty games in my opinion, I still think we need to be cautiously optimistic. So one thing I will tell you guys is do not pre-order the game. I know there's a lot of people who have already done so and it boggles my mind that you have not even seen any gameplay of it as far as a beta goes you haven't tried it out you don't know a whole lot about the game i do know that track is ahead of schedule i get that but at the same time people are already pre-ordering the game without even knowing if it's going to be good or not and that is absolutely insane to me and i'm going to tell you guys the reason why you should not be pre-ordering the game okay Back before, when there were actual incentives for pre-ordering, which I don't see any nowadays that are worth it, maybe I would say a pre-order the game, but nowadays it's not even worth it. And here's something that I think can be a controversial topic. I think a lot of people will go either which way on this, and there are several reasons why, but here are some reasons why I think you gotta think twice before pre-ordering Black Ops 6, okay? Number one is just unfulfilled promises. Sometimes these game developers or publishers overpromise features or content to boost the pre-orders only to undeliver on the final product when it comes out. And this can ultimately lead to disappointment amongst the community and players who expect more based on pre-release marketing. And a lot of us, especially in the Call of Duty community, fall prey to this time and time again. Number two is the game quality because Pre-ordering a game, it really means that you're committing to buying it before reviews or feedback from other players are available. And honestly, this can be risky because the game might turn out to be a buggy, unpolished mess and it leaves you with a subpar experience and you're just like, wow, I paid top dollar full price for a game and this is what I got? So you gotta really think about that before you do that. Another thing is just price drops because games often do go on sale shortly after release especially during the holiday season there are some times where the game you know has discounts so pre-ordering game at full price means you might end up paying more that was necessary so waiting for reviews and initial reactions can help you make a more informed decision and possibly save you guys some money so again maybe think twice about doing that if you're hell-bent on buying the game you know you're gonna buy it no matter what no matter if it's good or not, then okay, maybe you're in that bracket. We could leave you guys alone. You guys are just already with mind made up, gonna buy the game. Okay, I get it. But for those of you guys who are kind of on the fence, think twice about doing that, man. Just a little bit. Also, there are some incentives and exclusive content. Some publishers offer exclusive in-game content or bonuses as incentives for pre-ordering. And this practice can be controversial as it can, you know, kind of create a divide between players who pre-order and those who don't, which potentially affects the overall gaming experience, okay? Another thing is, in my opinion, limited information because pre-ordering a game based on only limited information such as, you know, the trailers, I know they look so good or just a short even gameplay demo can lead to unrealistic expectations gotta wait for more information closer to the release and this can help you make a more informed decision a lot of us just make decisions based off of the trailer itself you know this looks good all this information looks good but then again we end up regretting our decision i know there's people again like i said before who are hell-bent on buying the game no matter what but then there are people out there who regret buying the game and then they can't get their money back another thing is you just support anti-consumer practices because pre-ordering encourages this culture of just blind consumerism and it allows the developers and publishers to get away with releasing unfinished or low quality games because they've already 
gotten your money. They've already gotten the sale. So it doesn't matter to them. They don't, they don't got to make a good quality game because they've already gotten your money. And while there are valid reasons to be cautious about pre-ordering video games, that decision ultimately is up to us and our preferences. And some people enjoy the convenience of pre-ordering and are willing to take the risk while others prefer to wait for more information before making a purchase. Essentially, it's going to be up to you. I'm not saying if you are guaranteed you are going to get the game no matter what, then go for it. Fine. But some of us out there will like to know what more is going to be in the game, whether it's worth it to, you know, purchase the game, put all of our money in there and get the product based off of that. You know, I think for those of us who are cautious about our money and want to invest in something that is worth our money and investment, we will end up waiting a little bit. But some of us out there, and I know this is the case with a lot of Call of Duty players, no matter what, every single year, when a Call of Duty game comes out, they just poof, automatically just want to buy the game. But in my opinion, I would say wait for the game to come out or at least closer to the time of release. So that way, you know, you're making a wise decision with your money but that's just my opinion but for those of you guys who have already pre-ordered the game let me know why you guys pre-ordered the game already so early the release date is not till later on a couple of months but if you guys have already pre-ordered tell me the reason why and for those of you guys who are you know maybe on the fence on whether to buy the game or not when it comes out let me know what you're waiting for in order for you to make the decision to go ahead and purchase the game or even pre-order. Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this topic? What do you guys think about pre-ordering in general? If it's not just for Call of Duty. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. Now, with that being said, this is GCP signing off.